she positively refused to see the prince. However, he was not to be discouraged. He daubed his face over brown and black, pulled his cap over his ears, and knocked at the door. Good day to you, my lord, the emperor, he said. Can I have employment at the palace? Why, yes, said the emperor. I want someone to take care of the pigs, for we have a great many of them. So the prince was appointed imperial swineherd. He had a dirty little room close to the pigsty, and there he sat the whole day and worked. By the evening, he had made a pretty little kitchen pot. Little bells were hung all around it, and when the pot was boiling, these bells tinkled in the most charming manner and played the old melody. Oh, dear Augustine, all is gone, gone, gone. But what was still more curious, whoever held his finger in the smoke of the kitchen pot immediately smelled all the dishes that were cooking on every hearth in the city. This, you see, was something quite different from the rose. Now the princess happened to walk that way, and when she heard the tune, she stood quite still and seemed to please, for she could play Liebe Augustine. It was the only piece she knew, and she played it with one finger. Why, there is my piece, said the princess. That swineherd must certainly have been well educated. Go in and ask him the price of the instrument. So one of the court ladies must run in. However, she drew on wooden slippers first. What will you take for the kitchen pot, said the lady. I will have ten kisses from the princess, said the swineherd. Yes, indeed, said the lady. I cannot sell it for less, said the swineherd. He is an imprudent fellow, said the princess, and she walked on. But when she had gone a little way, the bells tinkled so prettily. Ah, dear Augustine, all is gone, gone, gone. Stay, said the princess. Ask him if he will have ten kisses from the ladies of my court. No, thank you, said the swineherd. Ten kisses from the princess, or I keep the kitchen pot myself. That must not be either, said the princess. But do you all stand before me and no one may see us? And the court ladies placed themselves in front of her and spread out their dresses. The swineherd got ten kisses and the princess the kitchen pot. That was delightful. The pot was boiling the whole evening and the whole of the following day. They knew perfectly well what was cooking at every fire throughout the city, from the chamberlains to the cobblers. The court ladies danced and clapped their hands. We know who has soup and who has pancakes for dinner today, who has cutlets and who has eggs. How interesting! Yes, but keep my secret, for I am the emperor's daughter. The swine heard, that is to say the prince, for no one knew that he was other than an ill-favored swine herd, let not a day pass without working at something. He at last constructed a rattle, which, when it was swung around, played all the waltzes and jig tunes which have ever been heard since the creation of the world. Oh, that is superb, said the princess when she passed by. I have never heard prettier compositions. <laughs>